Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm in the Lake District for a three day solo canoe trip. Um, I'm on Alls Water, which is about a seven, eight mile lake um, and a river attached to it. So there's quite a lot of water to explore. Uh, the plan is to wild camp. I've brought quite a few bits with me. I've brought a hammock and a sleeping bag because I'm not I'm unsure of the uh, the terrain that I'm going to be on so I wanted to uh, cover all bases really hopefully you're not shaking about all, all over the place because I'm on choppy water at the moment but yeah I left about four o'clock in the morning I got here about 11 because I had to stop off and have a little nap I was just so tired waking up but um, yeah I've just got on the water really about an hour ago and um, gonna be exploring around the main lake today as much as I can and look for a, a place to um, pitch up tonight. I brought my fishing rod as well so I'm going to do a bit of fishing and um, I know there's a few islands on this lake so they'll be quite cool to explore really. Um, I don't know how they are about camping on it but we'll have a look and see if there's any any room to camp that would be quite interesting but yeah hopefully you like this one guys. Be a, quite different one so uh, you know I'm excited for it anyway I just wanted to show you um, the location I found uh, and I've decided that I'm going to camp here tonight. It's only gone four o'clock, well nearly half four now, but I, I started really early about four o'clock this morning to get here. So I didn't want to do any more paddling today. I found this really nice location here and I've just, I've put, it's too early to put the set up um, up already. It's only half four so I don't want to be putting it up just yet. I put the tarp up just in case it rains because it does look like it's going to pee down in a bit. So just to um, keep my stuff all dry and uh, got a little fireplace here that someone's done already so I'm going to probably use that. I don't want to make any more marks around and there's already wood there as well so that's ideal. But I think I'm going to get the chair out and do a bit of fishing. Just behind us, I think that's the mountain or the fell that I took my son on his first wild camp. I don't think it's that one over there. I think it's behind us. So yeah, I can't remember the name of it. But I took my son about two years ago on his first wild camp there. I had a great night, he had a great night. He, uh, I don't think he enjoyed the meal as much so. But um, it was just a really nice time to spend with my son, really. I'd like to do more of this with him, but he's a lot older now, so he, um, he's, he's 16, so he wants to do his own stuff now, and I, I get that. It's nice I've got to spend it with him, you know, doing something I enjoy and showing him. I've had to change the position of my setup. 
I've, uh, I was over the other side over there, but the trees weren't right. So I've moved over here, but the only problem is, is there's a gap right here and it's acting as a wind tunnel. So if there's any bad wind during the night, that's going to go right. I'm going to get the full force of it, but it's, it's not forecasted to um, any, any serious uh, wind tonight. So that should hold up, you know, it should be all right. I've got the undercourt as well. I've been warm enough. It's just that wind, if it comes through there, the water's still quite choppy. So that's all I'm worried about. But I haven't filmed much tonight because I've been trying to get the setup right. I can't do ground because it's quite, it is quite boggy around here. So it isn't the best, but there is options for it. But I think I'll be more comfortable in, in the hammock tonight, in this location anyway. I'm gonna get on with a quilt now and get everything set because it, it is getting a bit dark now. It's uh, six o'clock and uh, I can see the, and because I'm behind all the summits and that, it's getting darker quicker. So I'm gonna get on with that and I'll probably bring you back later or, or if I don't, it might be in the morning, so. Morning guys, it's about half, coming up to half seven and uh, as you can see, really still morning. Uh, last night was a different story, well to begin with anyway, um, about seven, half seven it started to really come down with rain and wind, um, like I mentioned with that um, tarp, uh, that tunnel of wind it really just came through. But it only lasted for about 40 minutes, really heavy rain and wind and then all of a sudden it just stopped and uh, actually it's starting to rain now. So yeah, uh, it stopped and then after that nothing. So um, really peaceful night from then, uh, really warm night until about again uh, like usual an hour before I wake up, I had to really dig down and just sleep. But I don't really um, sleep with much um, gear on. So I think because I've been doing it in the summer, I think I just need to put another jumper on and I should be fine. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have a coffee. Uh, the plan of action today is to check out the, the north side of the lake and uh, go from there really. I know there's a couple of islands on this lake which I want to do bef uh, before I head home so um, not too sure if I'll get to them today but because um, we've got another about four miles to go up to the north side so um, yeah that's the plan of action today just see where it goes really from there and uh, then obviously look for another place to camp but until then I'm just gonna have a coffee hopefully do some uh, pancakes but I forgot the oil and um, spatula so I'm gonna have to improvise I think but yeah it should be a good day if the rain holds off obviously it's raining a little bit now but there is blue skies all around it's just this little cloud coming over so fingers crossed
the water's a lot more still today, less wind. So um, we'll probably be able to cover a lot more distance today. But it has started raining now, so might have to put the camera away for a bit. But yeah, um, we're going to head to the north side of the lake, see how far we can get. There is a river at the end of that side, so I don't know if we make that much distance, I might pop up that part of the river. But no one's on the lake so far, it is quite quiet. So yeah, I'm just going to head up there and um, see what's about there, see if there's any camping opportunities and stuff. I might do a bit of fishing as well as it's calm. Yeah, I believe the the, um, the fell that me and my son done is the one in front of me. It looks like that. A couple of geese, I don't know if you'll see them. But yeah, I think it's that one. Some great opportunities for camping up on that fell. A couple of fish jump in that, so I've just left the uh, lure in the water. Let's see if I get a bite that way. Yesterday I had to um, come back on myself a little bit. I got past this little bit, but there wasn't any uh, opportunities for camping, so I had to come back. And I saw that um, previously, so I knew it was a good spot, but I wanted to check out if there was anything else. There's no wind, but it is a bit chilly. It's a lot calmer than yesterday, though. I couldn't really feel much on the, uh, on the boat yesterday because it was quite choppy. But today, it's beautiful. Not as warm, but it's, it is early. So it was only quarter to nine. I'm just gonna do a little bit of fishing and then um, see if I catch anything. If I don't, or if I do, um, for a little while. And then um, I'll head up north side. I don't really fish too much. I do fish sometimes. I'm not like totally into fishing and that, but it is nice just to throw out the line occasionally. It's just about being in the outdoors, I think. You know, everything just all adds to the experience. That's the uh, fell me and my son um, camped on about two years ago now. That was his first wild camp. And a uh, brilliant experience. Definitely a memory I'm gonna cherish forever. So I'm back where I camped last night. I, um, I went up to the north end. It wasn't as interesting as the south end. So um, I decided to come back halfway again and uh, make some lunch. It's actually really cold out, so I've had to put on two layers. Um, the breeze is just so cold. So, and it's coming through this wind tunnel again. Um, 
So I've come into the trees to try and block out that a little bit. I'm going to have some lunch and then uh, think about the plan of action. I'm unsure whether to stay here and just enjoy some time in the woods a bit because it is quite hard to paddle out anyway. And then um, I've got another day tomorrow, so I'm, I think tomorrow is supposed to be uh, a bit of rain, so I'm unsure. I would like to um, camp on the um, the islands, but with this breeze, I think uh, if it picked up any more over the night, I think I'd be quite dangerous on the island because there's no protection really. Um, there's like one or two trees on there, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here for a bit. It is only, what time is it? Quarter to twelve, so got plenty of time to decide anyway. One of my favourite backpacking uh, lunch dishes. Right guys, so I think I'm going to be staying here another night where I stayed last night. But um, the reason for that is because it's, it's pretty strong out there, the wind. And um, as you can see, I'm wrapped up in that cold. It's only 12 degrees, but it, it, it feels a lot less. It's probably because of the wind coming off the lake. But I think I'm going to be staying this spot again. But um, I think what I'm going to do this tonight is use the tarp as a tarp tent um, just to block out a bit more of the wind so I'll face the opening the other way and that should give me a bit more uh, warmth inside then but I'm just going to hang out here for the afternoon it's just too cold to go out on, back on the lake so uh, I'll do a bit of fishing, have some food um, might start a fire later um, I didn't have one last night, I just got into the, uh, the hammock, so, but yeah, I'm just going to chill out here, guys, so. So the sun's decided to come out now, and the temperature's really risen now, I'm quite warm, but um, I've already got my warm clothes on, so I'm deciding I'm going to stay here where I stayed last night, but slightly over here. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting um, my tarp tent up instead of the hammock tonight and sleeping on the floor. I'm going to have to go for a hammock again. The, the place over there where I was going to put the tarp on the floor, uh, I didn't um, see a few of the rocks underneath. So um, it's not, obviously not uh, comfy to so you sleep on rocks. So we have to just hammock it again tonight, which ain't a problem. I'm just going to lower the... Uh, the tarp tonight a little bit just in case it does rain again so basically these are the same trees that I've used last night so I'm just going to do that Just using a trucker's hitch on this side. I've just used a couple of prosthetic knots just to secure the tarp on each end. So for my dinner tonight, I'm going to be having um, something I've never had before. This uh, Ben's plant powered um, chili non carn, so it's like a vegan chili. Um, because it ain't got no meat, obviously, I wanted some, some meat, so um, I got Bun Limited for classic hot dogs. I've never had these before either, but you don't need to uh, put them in the fridge, so and obviously, just a bit of microwave rice, and then I'm just gonna. 
just warm it up in the billy can and it should be make a nice meal. I've got a couple of wraps left as well so I'll probably make them. Weather's changed now. Just it's gonna look like it's gonna peer down again. But uh, look at that. That's not half bad, you know. I'll have this again. I feel like I have to eat this quick and get the tent of the uh, tarp pinned out because it looks like rain. It's on the crop. I caught a crop. <laughs> Ow! Right guys, I'm going to call it a night now. It's uh, sun's dropped behind all the, the mountains and it's totally really cold. So I'm going to get ready for bed and jump in the hammock. So I'll see you in the morning. So that's me done guys, packed up for the last time, um, so it's only gone half eight, well it is half eight now, and um, I'm going to head over to the south side of the lake again and explore some of the islands that are there and um, do a bit of fishing while I'm at it. So it's been a great trip so far, it's not over yet, so uh, I'm just going to enjoy the last day of it really. It's so calm this morning. This is, I think this is the most calm that I've had it all three days. So yeah, I'm heading up to the south side. Um, there's two or three islands on this lake. Um, and I know you can get on one of them pretty easy because I paddled past it the first day. Um, the other two, I'm not too sure. I think they're a bit difficult, more difficult to get on, but um, I'm gonna see if I can get on them. Uh, obviously, if there's not a landing um, part that I can get on, it's gonna be a bit sketchy getting onto slippery rocks, so. 
but I know there's a little beach on one of them, so the, that'd be pretty cool to just have a look at that one. Like I said, I would have camped on one, but if the wind picked up last night, which it didn't, it was a very still night, dry night as well. Super warm last night because I wore a jumper. I should have should have done that the first night, but um, yeah, proper still night, so I could have camped on the uh, island to be honest. But you know, I uh, I stayed at that part that I did. Um, it was a really nice. Really nice location that is. Really hidden away. So and you're not too sure if people are gonna turn up on the island or not for their camp, you know? So I like to have places to myself. I've seen some really nice stuff this uh, trip. I saw the deer drinking out of that little river. Reminded me of like some nature program or something, and then uh, I saw the red squirrel last night. Never seen that before, so I'm really quite happy about that. It's really nice seeing things that you've never seen before. It's, you know, that's why we explore, isn't it? So yeah, I'm going to make some progress on this lake, and I'll bring you back in a bit. I got something, I think. No. Uh, uh, one more cast and then. Oh, head. Carry on head north. Nope. This place reminds me of the, the sides anyway, it reminds me of a bit of Scandinavia. I'll spin you around so you can see the rocks and stuff. Just done an unexpected stop. So I come across two lads who had a fire and I told them they wasn't out properly. They went, oh, we put it out. But they couldn't have done it properly because there's all smoke here. And I'll show you. So I've come up here. Look. That's still light. That's not out. So if you are coming out and your fire is still smoking, it's not out properly. So I'm going to sort this out before I head, head on with my journey. So this is what I mean by people ruining it for other people like us. Because they don't put it out properly, they don't care about the environment. So people like us have to come here and clean it up for them. But it should be that way. If you're coming out here, don't disrespect it. You know, I didn't think I'd come across anything like that on this trip. But obviously I have. It's everywhere, you know? Idiots everywhere. But if you are one of those and you, you don't put your fire out properly, start doing it. Because it's going to cause a lot of more um, forest fires and stuff. So, but I'll put it out now anyway. I'm going to get on with my trip. So, so I've just put my boat there. And I've just got on to this island here. And this is where I originally was going to think about camping. So, 
onto this grass here, just under a tree. But it's already had like three visitors already this morning. So I made the right choice um, camping where I did. And uh, I, was, I would have been pretty close to them people who left that fire going anyway. They said that they put um, water all over it. Well, when I went up there, it was totally dry and burning away, obviously like you saw. So um, I put loads of water over it, made sure it was out and uh, no more smoke on it. But um, I don't know, I might do a video to show you how, to show people that don't know properly how to put a fire out and make sure that you don't leave any trace. But um, I think that's an important um, lesson to learn. If you're gonna make a fire out in, in nature, you wanna leave no trace. That is one of the biggest things you need to do when you're camping out wild. Otherwise, uh, it's just gonna stop it for everyone. But, uh, well, that's done now anyway, so I might do a video on that anyway. But um, I'm heading down a little bit further and get to the car anyway. And uh, I think I'm going to go get some food. So, yeah, I think that's it. I think I can go get some food now. I'll be signing off now, guys. Um, it's been an awesome trip. And uh, I've really enjoyed it. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this one, guys. It's uh, something different from normally in the woods and that. And uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these canoe trips. Because uh, I've got uh, Scotland in mind. I really want to do um, a couple of locks in Scotland, so um, keep an eye out for that. I'm not too sure when that will be, um, but it's, it's definitely on the list to do. But yeah, until next time guys, see you later.